Now let's talk about the most common reason for emergency abdominal surgery, appendicitis. Acute appendicitis results from obstruction and inflammation of the appendix. The appendix is a small, worm-shaped appendage that is attached to the cecum, the portion of the large intestine that empties into the colon. The appendix is especially prone to obstruction because of its small lumen. As you examine the abdomen of a client with suspected appendicitis, you will note lower right quadrant pain. The pain seems to begin in the periumbilical area and then moves over and localizes in the right lower quadrant. You will also note rebound tenderness at McBurney's point, which is halfway between the umbilicus and the anterior iliac spine. The client may also present with an elevated temperature, an elevated white blood cell count, and nausea and vomiting. Acute appendicitis is a dangerous condition because the inflamed appendix can become gangrenous or rupture. Rupture can result in peritonitis with bacterial contamination of the peritoneal cavity. Peritonitis is more common in older adults. Signs of peritonitis include a rigid, board-like abdomen, abdominal pain, absent bowel sounds, fever, and dehydration. The diagnostic tests for appendicitis include a white blood cell count and a CT scan of the abdomen or an abdominal ultrascan. The client's white blood cell count is elevated and the CT scan indicates an enlarged cecum. What are the nursing diagnoses for clients who have appendicitis? Acute pain related to inflammation of the appendix. Nausea and vomiting related to the acute inflammatory process. Risk for fluid volume deficit related to nausea and vomiting. Risk for infection related to possible rupture of the appendix and peritonitis and anxiety and fear due to the possible rupture of the appendix and peritonitis. The treatment for acute appendicitis is either a traditional or a laparoscopic appendectomy. Prior to surgery, the client should be placed in semi-fowler's position and should receive nothing by mouth. Administer IV infusions as ordered to prevent dehydration and as a route for analgesia as needed. It is important to remember the following. Do not administer laxatives or enemas preoperatively, as these measures can cause perforation of the appendix and peritonitis, and do not apply heat to the client's abdomen, as it can worsen the inflammation. During surgery, the surgeon will remove the appendix through a small incision or by means of laparoscopy. Surgical drains will be inserted if the client has developed an abscess. If peritonitis has developed, the surgeon will insert a nasogastric tube to prevent gastric distension. Following surgery, place the client in a semi-fowler's position and encourage early ambulation if not contraindicated. Advise the client to avoid heavy lifting for several weeks following discharge. If perforation has occurred, administer IV antibiotics as prescribed to control the peritonitis. Be sure to monitor the nasogastric tube and gastric drainage and provide meticulous wound care. What acid-base imbalance is a client at risk for when an NG tube is connected to suction? Metabolic alkalosis, because acids are lost through aspirated gastric contents. Gradually increase the client's activity level until he is fully ambulatory.